Okay, today we are talking about repairing or replacing a tub spout. So there's different types of tub spouts. This one is a brushed nickel finish, slip-on tub spout with a front diverter. The way a slip-on tub spout seals around the copper pipe that you slide it onto is there is an O-ring inside there. That's usually the point that fails on these and causes a leak. And if you look underneath your tub spout, you'll see a slot in the bottom and there'll be a set screw up inside there underneath. You unscrew that, you can pull the old tub spout off, slide the new one on. You wanna make sure if you slide a new one on, there's no burrs or corrosion on the copper pipe. And you wanna make sure you put some plumber's grease or uh, food-based silicone uh, lubricant on the o-ring and on the pipe so the o-ring can slide on nice and easily and doesn't get damaged. It's also a good time to put some silicone sealant um, to seal up the hole around where the copper pipe sticks through the wall. Usually that opening is pretty large and you want to seal that up. That will prevent future leaks into the wall should that o-ring fail in the future. Lastly, you want to run a bead of silicone sealant all the way around the back of the tub spout where it touches the wall, but do not put silicone sealant on that bottom half inch gap up where the, the Allen set screw is. That way, if it leaks in the future, you'll see water dripping out of that hole if it's not sealed up on the bottom there. This tub spout is a threaded tub spout with a rear diverter. So you can see front diverter, rear diverter on this one. And it's got female national pipe threads. This one comes with an adapter, so you can adapt this down to half inch national pipe thread. And you can see the threads are in the rear. So if you wanna convert your slip-on tile tub spout to a threaded tub spout, and you just have a piece of copper pipe sticking out of the wall, you can solder on one of these copper adapters that goes from half inch uh, copper pipe to half inch male national pipe thread. If you do this, you need to know how to solder and you need to make really, really sure that you got your measurement correct from the wall to where the female threads terminate inside the new tub spout. Because if you solder that on and that tub spout can't screw down all the way, you can have a big gap between the wall and tub spout. Or if that, that stub out copper pipe is too short, then when you go to thread the new tub spout onto it, it's not gonna thread all the way and seal and you'll get leaks at the threads. So that measurement is crucial from the wall uh, to where the threads are inside your tub spout. And I'd recommend dry fitting it first before you solder it in place. And you can see what that looks like. This one is a front threaded tub spout with a front diverter. So you can see those threads are deep inside toward the front of the tub spout. Another option, you can use one of these tub spout adapter kits. So if you wanna adapt again from a slip-on to a threaded, this will do that for you. It also has a three quarter inch to half inch adapter in there and pipe tape to put on your threads. These are run about 13 bucks at Home Depot or Lowe's. Another option is you can install one of these adapters. It's a 5 8 compression by half inch Mayo National Pipe Thread adapter made out of brass. So they also offer tub spout diverter repair kits like this one for about seven bucks. So say when you pull on the diverter to take a shower and you get a lot of water still draining out of that diverter, you might just simply rebuild your diverter. Now it is normal when you pull up on that diverter to have a few drips of water coming out of it, but it shouldn't be a huge steady amount of water where you have reduced water pressure coming out of your shower head, for example. Some key points to remember. Um, do you have a diverter or is there no diverter on your tub spout? What is the length and style of your tub spout and the finish? 
If you have a diverter, is it a front diverter or a rear diverter? Is it a slip-on tub spout or a threaded tub spout? Are those threads in the front or the rear of the spout? Are they three-quarter inch MPT or half inch MPT? Do you need an adapter? Or is it just a diverter that needs to be rebuilt or replaced? I hope this information helps. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover. Thank you for watching.